The stoic exercise of the view from above is about seeing the whole as it is. In Philosophy as a Way of Life, the French philosopher Pierre Hadot explains that the sage is someone who never ceases to have the whole constantly present to his mind. He thinks and acts within a cosmic perspective. He has the feelings of a whole, which goes beyond the limits of his individuality. The idea is to move from a self-centered, egocentric view of the world to a reality-centered one, one which understands our proper role in the universe. When you're ready, find a quiet place where you can contemplate for the next few moments. Take a few deep breaths and situate yourself. Close your eyes. Sit straight with an alert posture. Bring to mind why you are meditating today. What's the purpose behind your action? Consider any distractions that may arise. When they do, acknowledge them and return to the meditation. And commit to finishing the session. Now, Focus on the sensation of the breath. Watch each one come in and out. Now imagine where you are in space. Picture yourself in a room. View yourself from above. And when you're ready, explain your picture. Include the rest of your city. Fill your image with buildings, people, and the stuff of life. If you can, expand this picture and make it even larger. Remember that this city occupies a small part of the planet. Wherever you are in the world, there is so much more space. Now expand your perspective to take in the entire galaxy. Earth takes up less than 1% of the galaxy. Less than 1%. View your life from this perspective.
you are but one animal in a sea of trillions. We usually experience the world as if we were the center of it. Our desires and thoughts come first. But we are a part of a much larger whole. Contemplate your concerns and worries with this in mind. When you're ready, with all this vastness in mind, contemplate Marcus Aurelius' work. Think of substance in its entirety, of which you have the smallest of shares, and of time in its entirety, of which a brief and momentary span has been assigned to you, and of the works of destiny and how very small is your part in them. And if you get distracted, that's okay. Notice that you became distracted and return to contemplating your small place in the scheme of things. When you're ready, relax. Return to the breath. Let's consider your purposes for the day. Avoid trivial and self-centered purposes. Focus on your role as part of a greater whole. I'll give you a few moments to bring your purpose and goals to mind now. When you're ready, ask who do you want to be today? What character do you want to exhibit? Finally, commit to following through. You have purposes and principles. Act accordingly. Take a few deep breaths. And open your eyes. Excellent work following through. Taking the view from above, 
helps us experience our lives as they are. Each of us is a part of a great and vast whole. With this perspective in mind, we can focus on what is truly important, virtue, acting well, and good decisions. To do this, we need to remind ourselves again and again what nature is like and how we fit in. Let's end with a line from Marcus Aurelius's Meditations. The universe is transformation. Life is opinion.